Well, <clears throat> she got up. Not sure what she's thinking, but she might do something interesting. Give her some super padding. <laughs> she sure is tall. She's about a foot tall from her toes to her head. It's pretty impressive. Evie, look at the camera. Darling, will you look at the camera? That's a girl. What most people don't realize is how much like us an animal is in every way. And you can never be kind enough to any creature. That's something to continuously strive for. Um, because they're so full of love and joy. They want to teach us that. And the one thing you learn, you can't learn by being a bully. You can't learn by being a bully. I met this guy once, and uh, this is a stranger I met on the on the dock of a marina when I lived in a boat. I just got pulled to shore and he sees me with my dog. And he says, you know, the more you put into a dog, the more you get back. It's such a simple line. It's like that Clint Eastwood line, a man's got to know his limits just stands a test of time. Since Evie was a little girl, baby puppy, I always felt my role was to protect her and to create enough freedom for her to express herself and her energy. And in return, she's made my life wonderful. With full of affection and interaction. I play guitar and Evie takes care of my fingers when I'm practicing. She decides which hand needs treatment and when. Right now they're pretty good. They just had a treatment this morning. An Evie treatment. Basically, there's a lot of licking involved. When she was a little baby, this is where she would sit all day on my chest. Except she had to run to get from here down to there. And now she stretches the whole length. It was about this long only. So she'd have to gallop around on my body and she'd go all... My body was like her little island. Of course, I didn't let... I kept that boundary for her, so if she had to pee, I'd know and I could put her in her little porta potty that I made for her. Then eventually the top of the bed became her her 
home. And now she just lives everywhere. She likes to have several little spots. Some dark, some quiet, some open, some high, some low. Some low. She's thinking I need some treatment right around here. It's called puppy love therapy. And they called it puppy love. Yeah. Puppy love. This is another form of puppy love. Eve is 10 years old, but she's still like a puppy. We've had a bit of a challenge with her teeth, some gum infections and falling out teeth. I generally have to accept blame for that as uh, poor knowledge of proper chihuahua care. Um, but we brush them now every day. and. They look pretty good. Her breath smells really nice. And we're dealing with the infections. A couple of vets I went to wanted to put her under to clean her teeth. Also telling me in advance that the risk is death. And I could never justify getting her teeth cleaned and risking her life, so I never did it. Uh, the vet she's with now uh, really won me over because he said, oh, we can't put her under, that could risk her life. Thank you. I was so impressed with that. And, uh, but there are ways that we've taken care of her gums. Uh, I washed them a lot with just plain water. I have a little eye drop. Holder and I just rinse the inside of her gums quite often in a day when it's bad. And I did do it with baking soda as well, just a small amount of baking soda. Um, but I, I stopped, I just went with pure water. I do energy healing with her. That's a whole different topic. But that seems to work too conjunction of all the intent of healing I'm sure creates his own alchemy well I hope you enjoyed the video today and thank you for watching and supporting the channel I hope you like and subscribe and ring the bell, whatever is possible to help us keep the shows coming. Ciao for now. From Evie and I. From somewhere. It could be nowhere. To you, but everywhere to me and Evie. Good day. Say good day. be a part of you.